Nice to meet you, this is the Hobby IT channel. Thank you for watching today. In this channel, it is a video that challenges making things with IT. Programs and circuit diagrams are available on the website below, so please make use of them. Let's have fun together. This time, I would like to use read switch to operate the opening and closing of the door as a trigger. We will use the entrance of the room and the door of the home appliance as a switch, and when the door opens, for example, we will acquire an image with timer camera and save it to Google Drive. This time, when the refrigerator door opens, take a picture of the inside and save it in Google Drive. Every time the door opens, take a picture of the inside and save the image. The saved image can be checked with a smartphone when going out, such as shopping, and the inside of the refrigerator can be seen. Now let's move on to the table of contents. The table of contents looks like this. First, we will understand the development environment and Arduino settings from device selection. However, the details of this part have been understood in previous videos, so it is only a point. Next, we will understand the read switch, consider its wiring, and create a circuit. Next, create a program, assemble it, and check its operation. After confirming the operation of read switch, add a program that acquires images with the camera and saves them to Google Drive. However, since I have already understood the contents of using this Google Drive in the previous video and it is difficult to summarize, I will proceed on the premise that you have understood this time. The program itself to be used is published on the Hobby IT site. Finally, we will check how it can be realized by actually wiring and installing the refrigerator. Now let's move on to device selection. When it comes to equipment selection, I try to find and use the cheapest equipment possible. This is a list of cameras that can be used for electronic work and have the technical conformity mark. In Japan, Wi-Fi products must pass the technical suit by law. Among these, use the rightmost timer camera, which is the cheapest and has the best performance. Move on. As for the development environment, we will use Arduino. It is widely used for learning, development, and commercial purposes all over the world, and there are plenty of extensions such as libraries. There is a lot of technical information and programs on the net, which is very helpful. It's easy to learn and easy to use, so I will continue to use it this time. Move on. We will set up the Arduino. Add the board and library, and select M5 Stack Timer Cam in the board setting of Arduino IDE. When writing or using the serial monitor, make sure that the timer camera connection port is selected as the port. Move on. Let's understand read switch. We will use read switch to turn on slash off by opening and closing the door. This time, I used a read switch equivalent to this item. As shown in the operation overview, when the magnets are brought closer, both poles come into contact and conduct. Move on. We will consider how to wire this switch to timer camera. Timer camera has an high terminal, which is connected to the ground, 5 volts power supply, and IO4 and IO13 terminals. Check if these work. First, IO4 and 13 are connected to an electrostatic discharge diode, but they are basically connected as they are, so they can be used as they are. Also, 5 volts is connected directly from the USB power supply, so you can see that you can wire from here if you need any power supply. This time, IO13 is used as an input terminal. Move on. I will check the input terminal of ESP32. According to the datasheet, the input is low judgment from minus 0.3 to 0.825 volts, and high judgment from 2.475 to 3.9 volts. Since the maximum input voltage is 3.9 volts, you can see that a 5 volt signal cannot be input directly. Also, as a reference, the current when using the output is 40 mA, so you can use things that require a small amount of current, such as LEDs, but things that require a large amount of current such as motors, cannot be used directly. Will be used together. Move on. From the content so far, pull up IO13, keep it in the high state at all times, and use it by wiring it to the ground when read switch is conductive. When wired to ground, it will be 0 volts, so it will go low and you will be able to see the state of the read. Switch. Move on. I will check the program. The LED is built into the timer camera body. IO is connected to number 2. Also, read switch connects to number 13, so define that as well. In the setup function, set IO 13 with input pull-up. This sets the port to the high state during normal operation. Next, on the 24th line of the loop function, always get the state of read switch, and if there is a change from the previous time, perform the processing in the if statement on the 27th line. 
This time, the status is displayed on the serial monitor by turning the LED on or off. We will check the operation, but first, we will wire the timer, camera. Regarding the connection to the high terminal, I didn't have a cable that fits this connector, so I used a male-female jumper wire. Since four wires do not fit, use only two wires and wire to the ground and IO13. Even with this cable, it seems that you can take out up to three terminals. This time it is the use of two terminals. I plugged it in on both ends. The insert is a little loose, so reinforce it with tape to prevent it from coming off before use. Now, let's actually check the operation. Here is the wiring as per the schematic. IO13 and ground are wired across the reed switch via a breadboard. First of all, since it is a test, wiring is done on the breadboard. After confirming the operation, wire directly. As shown here, by moving the magnet away from or near the reed switch, the LED will turn on and off repeatedly. It also shows up fine on the serial monitor. This completes the operation check, so next we will create a program that uses this switch to acquire the image of the refrigerator. However, as I mentioned in the table of contents, I have already understood the Google settings and the Arduino program in the previous videos, so I will omit them this time. This time, the program to be used will use read switch as a trigger to acquire camera images and save them to Google Drive. It takes a little time for the door to open, so the image is acquired and saved two seconds after it is detected. The program itself is published on the Hobby IT site. Move on. Just to make sure, check the power adapter you are using. The USB port of a computer has a voltage of 5 volts. Many power adapters for smartphones are also 5 volts, but some are different. Just to be sure, check the circuit diagram to see if there is no problem with 5 volts. First, since the ESP32 operates at 3.3 volts, the 5 volts power supply is limited to 3.3 volts and connected to the ESP32. The operating voltage of this voltage regulator is 2.7 to 5.5 volts, so 5 volts is fine. Microcomputers that convert USB to serial data are also used, but they can be used up to 5.5 volts, so you can see that there is no problem with a 5 volts power supply. For these reasons, I would like to use a 5 volts power adapter. Move on. I bought scissors to fix timer camera. It was 50 yen at the home center. Also, since there was a cover to cover the wiring cable by hand, I would like to use these for wiring. I'm not very good at wiring and setting up refrigerators, so I don't think it's helpful. Therefore, I will share only the results of what it feels like. First, I installed it on the top of the door. I think this is a failure in the end. There was no problem with the operation itself, but I don't think it can be used because it can't shoot the lower part of the inside of the refrigerator, and the range that can be shot varies depending on how the door is open. Move on. There was no problem with the operation itself, so I was able to confirm that the image was saved in Google Drive when the door was open. I created a new folder for this time and saved it. If you set this folder ID programmatically, you can specify a folder and save it. Move on. Since the opening angle and the range of opening of the door differ, it is better to install it on the left side or the top of the main unit. I installed it on the left side this time. Wires are used because it is necessary to fix the shape to be installed. That's why I wrap it in tape. If the camera protrudes too far forward, it is difficult to take out the contents inside, so I installed it so that it does not get in the way. I used Timer Camera X, but I felt that the viewing angle was too narrow. Therefore, we improved it by switching to F, which has a wider viewing angle. Move on. Similarly, the left side is installed with an appropriate amount so that it does not get in the way. The feeling taken with timer camera is like this. This image is taken at 1024 times 768 of XGA. Compared to smartphones, the clarity will still fall. I thought it was good because I could see what was there, but I think it would be better to change the resolution according to your preference. Also, on the left side, it is difficult to put the camera forward anymore, so I feel that it is desirable to put the camera a little forward from the top of the refrigerator. There seems to be a prediction of improvement including the installation side, but there was no problem in the operation check, so I would like to conclude this time. With the above, I tried the contents of making the refrigerator with a camera with timer camera. This is the end for this time. 
We will continue to take on the challenge of making things using IT like this, so please give us a high rating and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.